You're right guys, this is while the glue dries. Now we've had some freezing cold weather this week, so first up, something you can make really quick, a heated shirt for around eight pound. I hope you like it. I found this USB powered heated pad on Amazon and thought it would be great to use to make my own heated shirt. The heat pad is linked down in the description below. I have a large battery that will last a long time but of course you can use a smaller one too. The pad takes 5 volt to power. Now I'm not a sewer, I don't know how to make things look nice so I'm using an old shirt and I'll just wear this in my shed or outside and I don't care how it looks. The idea is to add velcro strips to the shirt and to the heating pad so it can be easily removable. Of course the fluffy part of the velcro will go on the shirt in case I want to wear it without the heating pad. To hold the strips in place I use some pins. It doesn't have to be spot on, I just try to keep them relatively in line. Now for the sole. Who says men don't sew? <whistles> I'd highly recommend you check out Crafting with Ellen's channel for some great sewing videos. Link is in the description to her channel. The hook part of the velcro gets attached to the heating pad in the same way. It now simply attaches to the shirt and I can turn it the right side out again. All that's left is to try it on now. So as you can see, it's definitely noticeable, but at the end of the day, it's a rough shirt, it's old, it's tatty, and it's for working outside and when I'm in my shed and stuff, so I don't really care how it looks, as long as it gets warm. Within about 10 minutes, you really start to feel the heat, and as it says on the Amazon listing, it says it should be able to get to about 35 to 50 degrees Celsius, which is nice and toasty. I don't have a laser thermometer, so I can't really measure that temperature accurately, but it does get warm, and that's all I can really say. But I hope you like it, I think it works really well and it's a lot cheaper than those really expensive heated jackets and shirts you can buy ready made. Of course it doesn't compare to those but for £8. So yeah, it's not going to compete with those fully heated jackets and shirts you can get that you plug your tool batteries into. But for £8, plug into your USB battery, it does the job I think so. I hope you like that one. Up next I've got some great makers for inspiration this week and also a couple of Facebook pages too. First up we have Pat Lap from Le Pic Bois. If you know Pat, you know exactly what to expect from his videos. Always entertaining and it's great to see him make this huge pepper grinder this week. Next we have Andy Berkey. Andy has a fantastic series called Gimme A Minute. You really need to head over and check them out. The great tips in just one minute, well worth a watch. Lastly from YouTube we have Dirk from Sumo's Projects. He's shown this bench a new lease of life this week. Love the video as always and it's turned out brilliantly. Now to Facebook. Myself and the other Makers International podcast guys run a page called Makers on YouTube. It's full of great maker minds all pitching in tips and ideas and sharing around what they're up to. Also on Facebook there's Wood Club UK. Again, it's got some great members always happy to offer a helping hand, so check that page out too.
Before I go guys, don't forget down in the description is where you can find all the links to everything I've mentioned today, including a couple of events that I'm coming up. I'm going to be at Maker Fair in Newcastle, all the information is linked down below, that's at the end of April, and the following weekend I'm going to be at Maker Central in Birmingham. It'd be great to meet people there and I can't wait to shake everybody's hand. I just want to say a massive thank you to all my Patreon supporters guys, honestly thank you so much for all your support, I really do appreciate it. We've actually got a new supporter this week as well, and that's P.E. Thank you so much for your support mate, I really do appreciate it. Before you head off this video, please let me know what you think about this new format for While the Glue Dries. I'm trying to include quick projects as well to try and give you something that might inspire you, as well as showing other people's work. They're not the greatest projects I know, but it's something quick that you can get done maybe in a weekend or in a day. So hopefully you like it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, Give it a thumbs down, share it around with your friends, honestly, the more you share it around, the more we can boost up the other people in the community. So, that's it then guys, don't forget, click that subscribe button, and click the bell icon to get notifications as well. That time you'll get a pop-up on your phone, or an email whenever I upload a new video. Thank you all for watching.